Shalom. Just gonna get into it real quick. It's gonna be a real easy one. Um, how to battle the devil? And the devil tries you. You have to battle them with the scriptures. Um, it's good to know exactly where the scripture is, but it's best to know to have it within your mind, to have it within your heart, and to meditate it on it day and night. And that is how you defeat the devil: is with the scriptures. You, you defeat him with um, um, knowing the scriptures and using and applying the scriptures. Because it's no good if you just know it and you don't apply it. As uh, the Most High did. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Uh, let's go to verse 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, This is Yahweh Shai speaking, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. Now, where is this written? It's written in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. So we'll go there. Because as you see, he didn't say, Oh, it's written in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. He just said, It is written. And then he showed you exactly, he, he told you what was written. Chapter 8, verse 3. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither did thy fathers know, that he, may, that he might make thee know, that man doeth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of, of Yahweh doeth man live. Which is in the Old Testament. So, those... If you're listening to a pastor that says you don't have to go into the Old Testament, the Old Testament is done away with and all that other, you're being fooled. And for the pastors that want to say that the law is nailed to the cross, you're still fooled. And all those that want to continue to hold on to that cross, that Babylonian crap, you're still fooled. Because okay? you don't need that. All you need is his word. He didn't say that you need all those things and all those false idols. He said you need his word. If you eat the word, and eating the word is digesting it, digesting it means you fully understand it. And if you don't fully understand it, do the best you can, and somebody will help you out and correct you. Because I need correction anytime I mess up. That's how I get better. You get better with correction. Let's go to the next one, which is Matthew chapter 4 verse 5 then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him if thou be the son of the most high cast thyself down for it is written now this is the devil saying it is written now and he ain't telling you where it's written he's just saying saying it is written meaning understand it consume it and 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 use it when it's needed and to the best of your abilities and let the spirit guide you. But right now we're on this. And he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thy dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power, the Most High. Where is that written? Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16. Ye shall not tempt the Lord your power as ye tempted him in Massah. Uh, Massah. Last one. Um, Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Well, verses 8 through 10. Again, the devil taketh him up unto an exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt, not, thou shalt worship Yahweh, which is the Lord, thy power, and him only shall thy serve. And that is written 
in Deuteronomy chapter 5, 7 through 9, I believe. Well, 7 through 11. Thou shalt, not, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow them, bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the inequity of the fathers upon the children unto the third. And, oh, well, well, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Chapter 7, isn't it? No, 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 that's the right one then. Chapter 5, verse 7. Yeah. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That was it right there. Verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 7. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You only serve him, you only worship him. So he used the scriptures to battle and contend with the devil. The same thing you do. Use the scriptures. Digest this book. This is life. This is the only life that matters. Okay? This book, excuse me, and the Apocrypha. You need these books. And then once you get these, go to a GMS camp or a site and, and, and study with them. Go along with them take notes, and you'll be able to defeat the devil within yourself first, and then condemn yourself as I did with my tattoos on my other video, and show my people that I've messed up, but I'm still out here. I don't stop. That's the beauty of Yahweh is that we're still in his grace, even though we're in captivity. But the grace period is coming to a dead end, ladies and gentlemen, and we're wrapping it up faster and faster as we speak. If you haven't noticed in Rochester, we've been having a whole lot of rain. A whole lot of rain. That's just to let you know the times is coming. And when you see all the chariots around, if you wasn't in this, truthfully in sincerity, you'll be left behind. Honestly, you will be left behind. And when you're left behind, you've got two choices. You're either going to take that RFID chip or you're going to get your head cut off by one of these guillotines and be tortured. Those are your choices. It's not my words. It's the words of the Heavenly Father if you read. Now, like I say, I'm just going to give you that little bit. Shalom to all the brothers pushing out this truth. Double honors to the elders of GMS for giving me this truth. And all praises to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Sadawa Yahweh Wah Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.